In 2008, researchers from the Child Cohort Study invited thousands of expecting parents to join a unique Canadian research project. The researchers hope to better understand how a baby's genes and environment influence its health and development through childhood and later life. Nearly 3,500 families agreed to participate. By following the lives of the babies and their parents over many years, the Child Cohort Study has made many exciting discoveries about factors that influence the development of childhood asthma, allergies, obesity, and other chronic diseases. One of these factors is breastfeeding, which benefits babies in many ways. Child research has shown that breastfed babies have higher levels of beneficial gut bacteria and healthier growth patterns than babies who are not breastfed, that breastfed babies have a lower rate of wheezing, one of the most common reasons infants are hospitalized or receive medical care, and that they have a lower risk of developing asthma as they get older. The researchers found that these health benefits were greater when babies were fed only breast milk and for a longer period of time. But they also found that partial breastfeeding or breastfeeding for a short time is good for babies too. In other words, they found that even a little bit of breastfeeding is beneficial. Child researchers have discovered that how a baby is breastfed matters too, meaning there's a difference between feeding directly from the breast and feeding pumped breast milk from a bottle. Among the thousands of babies in the child cohort study, the risk of asthma was lowest among those who received only breast milk directly from the breast in early life. More research is needed to answer why this is, but there are a few theories. One possibility is that babies may develop stronger lungs through the physical act of suckling at the breast. Another theory is that the steps between pumping breast milk and feeding it to a baby, such as freezing the milk, thawing it, and heating it, might negatively affect the special proteins and molecules in breast milk that help to protect against asthma. While direct breastfeeding seemed to be the most protective against asthma development, pumped milk still contains many beneficial components for babies. Child researchers are also looking closely at the hormones, sugars, bacteria, and special nutrients found in breast milk. They've found that certain hormones may help prevent obesity in breastfed babies, while specific sugars may help to strengthen a baby's immune system and reduce the risk of developing allergies. They also found that beneficial bacteria may be transferred from mom's milk to the baby, helping to protect against infections and illnesses. This research also shows that, just like fingerprints, breast milk is unique to each mom and baby. The composition of each mother's milk depends on her genetics, diet and lifestyle, her baby's age, and their shared environment. Understanding the role of breast milk in child health and development is challenging because it involves many biological, environmental, and social factors. But child researchers are up for the challenge, as there are important questions left to answer, including how does breastfeeding affect other aspects of a child's health and development, like blood pressure, behavior, and brain development? Can a mother's diet while breastfeeding help to prevent allergies in her child later on? What's the best way to pump, store, or feed breast milk if babies are not breastfed directly? How can the health benefits of breast milk be provided to babies who are not breastfed? How can policymakers, employers, and society make it easier for mothers who want to breastfeed? While Child has already taught us so much about the science of breastfeeding, they're hard at work trying to find answers to these questions too. Researchers and the thousands of children and parents involved in the Child Cohort Study hope the findings will help empower all parents and caregivers and help all babies grow up healthy, however they're fed.